Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to Gear and Style. Uh, today I have an unboxing, but uh, this one's a little bit different. I recently became interested in um, exploring the used shoe market. So I was looking at some shoes on eBay and I came across this pair. So I actually saw a post on Instagram by a fellow Austinite shoe lover, the shoe enthusiast, and he purchased a pair of uh, used vintage Hanovers from eBay. I had been interested in getting a pair of um, wingtip bleachers for a while, so when I saw that post, I thought that it would be cool to, uh, to look into it, and so I ordered a pair for myself. So I paid $50 plus shipping for these. This is actually now my second pair of used shoes. I actually got another pair, but I didn't get those for myself. You will see on another video that I'm working on, but that one's taking a little bit longer. So I wanted to get this project started as well. These feel a little big. Um, I hope they fit me well. Um, I wear a 10E or a 10.5D, which is what these are. But since I've never worn this brand before, um, the, the fit might be a little bit different. Uh, as I said, this is a vintage shoe and the only way you can get these now is used since they don't make them anymore. They look super sturdy. There's still plenty of wear left on sole. The top lip has uh, hardly been worn. Uh, that's pretty awesome. None of the stitches have been broken either. As I said, that post by the shoe enthusiast uh, really got me interested in checking these out. Um, so a little bit of background on the Hanover Shoe Company. Hanover Shoe um, was established in 1899 in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Uh, they were, by all intents and purposes, a direct-to-consumer brand, which meant that by cutting the middlemen, they could offer more affordable prices to their customers. In June of 1900, they opened their first store in New York City, and within 15 years, uh, they had 61 stores from Indianapolis all the way to New York City. So from what I read, um, I think that these were not your typical shoe stores with lots of inventory. So you would go in and look at a catalog, get your measurements, and months later you would get your, uh, your shoes. They eventually had four factories, uh, including their original Pennsylvania factory, which underwent uh, two expansions. Um, so in short, uh, Hanover offered great quality shoes using premium leathers at affordable prices. And even at some point, they were making um, shoes for JCPenney and Bostonian as well. Um, this 1970s catalog shows that the cost for this classic windtip bluecher was uh, $21.95, while the competition offered theirs for $38.95. The equivalent of $21.95 in 1970 is about $150. Right now, you cannot find anything close to this quality for $150. They also offered a variety of construction types, including this comfort art system, which is what these are, um, as well as plenty of different designs and exotic leathers. These images of the catalog came from vcleat.com, so I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check out the full catalog. Okay, so now I'm gonna get them cleaned up and disinfected. Uh, and then I'm gonna let them uh, sit overnight with some baking soda to absorb any odors and moisture um, from the shoe. And then I'll come back uh, tomorrow and I will clean them up, shine them up, and get them ready to wear. Wow, man, they look amazing. They're hardly even worn. I'm still gonna throw some disinfectant in there to Clean them up really well. So I have a damp cloth here. Just gonna use some uh, disinfectant. And just get in there. Just gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then I'm gonna put some baking soda. Again, what this will do is absorb any moisture and odors that are in the shoe. So like I said, we're just gonna let it sit overnight uh, and then I'll come back tomorrow, uh, clean out the exterior and then give them a nice little shine. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, so it's the next day. I just got done with work, 
so uh, it is time to continue this. I'm gonna give them a good wash, uh, a good soaping. So I'm gonna use some saddle soap. You know, the shoes were pretty clean, but, um, but it doesn't hurt. Got done with the soaping. We uh, wiped them off really good. And actually got uh, uh, some new um, shoe trees as well. Some Zephyr, run of tour. Get that leather hydrated. black cream polish it's worth mentioning how well made these shoes are they feel so sturdy like just heavy. I thought that they were gonna be big on me because it just looks so bulky. And it, you know, it depends on what your style is, but I think for this type of uh, more casual shoe, at least for me, uh, it's actually really cool. Onto the wax polish. So one trick I picked up from the Elegant Oxford is uh, to use navy blue polish on black shoes. It's not very noticeable, but it does give a different pop to the mirror shine. I'm just gonna apply a thin coat all over the shoe, buff it out, and then I'm gonna mirror shine the toe. I think this is done. Pretty cool, huh? Not too shabby for 50 bucks. And of course, to finish it off, a new set of funky laces from none other than Whisker.
that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think they are amazing. I am so glad that I got this pair of shoes, man. I'm definitely gonna be looking at this shoe, shoe market a little more, because uh, you can definitely find some gems out there for a fraction of the price. Uh, especially when it comes to shoes like this that you can't find anymore, you know? They don't make these handovers anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.